this. But did any business owners ask you for help for protection? I was not asked directly by Breaking! Kyle Rittenhouse is found not guilty of murder. The United States fascist regime sends clear message out, and class traitors are abundant. This whole true crime case has to, everything to do with class traitors fighting for cat's pig corporations. That is how the, this whole situation, the whole Kyle Rittenhouse situation started and occurred. The United States is a fascist regime. The corporations have merged with the government. You know, the rich run the government. The elite run the government, the bourgeoisie runs the government. Kyle Rittenhouse is just like the police. He's fighting and upholding capitalism. He is pro-capitalism and he is serving the rich, aka the Caspi companies. These class traders really sat there and ate pizza with fascists. The United States is a fascist regime. The corporations merge with the government. That's the whole entire reason why Kyle Rittenhouse got away with his murderous crimes. The corrupt judge said that the victims, you know, that he murdered weren't even victims, that they were just violent looters. And he said that, he, I think, if, if I'm correct, he said that they, they can't be, like, referred to as victims. If you think Rittenhouse did nothing wrong, you are supporting fascism. Or if you support anyone that's like Kyle, you are supporting fascism. You are supporting killing people to save capitals and profits, profits over lives every day, valuing property over human lives. You're a class traitor and an enemy if you, in any type of way, defend Kyle Rittenhouse's actions. The police work for the rich. They partake in fascism because under fascist regimes, protesting is met with violence. You know, like, that is one of the biggest things under fascism. This, this not guilty verdict will embolden fascists to murder you in the streets or anyone that is protesting, you know, that is their enemy. And they can get away with it because all judges are corrupt, or they serve the rich, because the, there is no justice under, you know, a capitalism system. All police departments are corrupt, they just serve the rich. There, there's no justice under capitalism in general, like, and in this fascist United States regime. Kyle Rittenhouse case is only one of the hundreds of examples of this. Fascists get leniency and don't do a lot of time because they protect capitals and profits over human lives. You know? The Kyle Rittenhouse case proves that, that the corrupt judges and all the Caspig companies are trying to kill the working class, smothering them out like a fire. They are all working together, somehow plotting planning and plotting how to get rid of unions and protesters that are fighting against the fascism regime because that's what fascism does. Fascism wants to smother like protesters and they're always met with police brutality and violence. That's why he was found not guilty because they don't want the working class to rise up. The elite have given the go-ahead to attack people who are fighting against the evils of capitalism. The Kyle Rittenhouse trial proves without a doubt that the fascist United States regime is sending a clear message that it's okay for people who support capitalism to go and kill people to to protect capitalism profits. Joe Biden gave funding to the police. The police serve the rich. The U.S. government is coming for blood. You know, the blood of their own citizens that fight against the rich. The justice system in this fascist regime only upholds and serves the rich. There is no justice.